My MSI JT790 got overheating issues. I removed all factory compound which was applied on GPU and CPU and applied Arctic Silver 5. This is the temperatures that I'm having currently at this moment. I have 30 on my GPU and I have 68-69 idling on my CPU. What I consider that has happened? Look. NVIDIA GTX 570F 30 Celsius and my which is very very well it's an idle and it means that there is no overheating issues on this on it on the GPU core unlikely like on a CPU I I for sure have overheating issues because for example core 0 is 70 Celsius core 3 is 66 Celsius an idle processor must be operational in 44 uh, 45 Celsius. So um, I will uh, remove Arctic Silver 5 from CPU and I will apply IC Diamond 7. It's a new compound which just came out. IC Di Diamond 7 doesn't have any cure time, unlikely like Arctic Silver 5. Uh, I believe that on a CPU I applied the proper amount and uh, everything worked well for me. Unlikely like on a no, on, on GPU I applied the proper amount, but on CPU maybe I applied amount, wrong amount of um, thermal compound, or maybe the cure time didn't work properly for me. So let's deassemble this GTX 70M and uh, try this new product, which is called IC Diamond Karat 7. To do this, you need to power off your laptop need to flip them, him upside down. The first thing that you have to do, of course, as I mentioned before, you have to remove the battery completely out. You have to remove one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws. Remove all of them and pop up backup cover. Right here is my CPU Core i7, and here is my GPU. Looks like Arctic Silver 5 worked fine for me on a GPU, but CPU no, because I have 70 even on idle. So I have to remove those three screws, which is holding the heatsink, GPU CPU heatsink on place. Remove three screws. When I removed those three screws, which are holding the CPU heatsink, I was unable to remove it because fan is blocking the CPU heatsink. So remove the last bolt and firstly remove the heatsink. And firstly remove the fan out from your way. You cannot do otherwise. Okay, CPU heatsink is removed. I see that I will show you more, more closely, which could be causing the problem that I have again 70 Celsius in idle on a CPU. From here, I understand that I did not apply enough of the Arctic Silver 5 compound and during the cure time it melt away. You see in the middle it's not enough for sure. It was enough but after the cure time it goes aside in some places. So basically let's since I see Diamond Karat 7 doesn't have any cure time wipe all Arctic Silver 5 compound away user as a prill based liquid and then apply Arctic Silver and then apply IC Diamond Karat 7 compound. This is how it's supposed to look when all thermal compound is removed using as a prill based liquid. So it's totally clean core, CPU core, Core i7 and the sink, heat sink, totally clean as well. 
let it dry because you can see there is still a little bit of liquid isopril based liquid but it will evaporate very fast since i am already here and on my gpu i have normal idle temperatures from 30 to 40 celsius when i am idling but still since i am already here i see diamond 7 as more effective that's why i decided to do the same procedure on a gpu to do this procedure you need to remove those four clips bolts they do not uh, they not separating like this they on springs so just release the pressure on them and they will stay inside so the gpu heatsink is removed as you can see here we have a little bit better picture but in the middle as you can see during the cure time arctic silver 5 was gone as well so my concern about applying not too much not too little didn't work after the cure time still when you applying it's the same everywhere but when after like a couple of days it starts sinking through from the center to the middle I can see a lot more of compound at the ends of the GPU itself. In the middle, in this place, it's gone. I think that I see Diamond Karat 7 is a d different thermal paste. It doesn't have cure time at all. So, let's clean Arctic Silver 5 away from both CPU heatsink and CPU processor. Let it dry and apply IC Diamond 7 compound. When you completely clean the CPU heatsink and the CPU core, I recommend you to restore all those back on places because this is very important. As you can see, they dislocated. They are responsible for the cooling down the memory itself. It's a very very high efficient memory, one and a half um, DDR5, so it needs to be cooled down properly as well. So allocate all those back back on place before you will apply ic diamond 7 you must allocate them both on a gpu and cpu those are very very expensive parts for example this gpu is replaceable and on ebay it costs almost 400 dollars if you want to buy this part new this is a gpu video card GTX 570M, almost 400 bucks when you on eBay. Right, when I allocated all of those back on on places, both on a motherboard, GPU graphic card, all of them, as well as on a heat sinks from the other side, I allocated everything back on on place. You can proceed and apply IC Diamond 7, IC Kara Diamond 7 thermal compound. Since when I was applying, I apply an Arctic Silver 5, looks like I applied the same code and during the cure time from the center it melted to the ends. It's th thick down. I will apply a, a little bit more of IC Diamond 7 thermal compound. I see Diamond 7 doesn't have cure time, but still, I want to make sure that it will be enough. So basically this amount needs to be applied. This will be for the CPU. And this will be for the GPU, because GPU is a bigger cheap compared to the CPU, a little bit bigger. So the, then put the glove and do like this with the tip of your finger, allocated. Yeah, the density of this compound is a way different. It's more, it's different, it, it's not like Arctic Silver 5. Arctic Fil Silver 5 was too smoothy. This one sticks a lot better. I doubt that he will melt from the center to the end. So basically guys, uh, I see Diamond 7 
have very very different density compared to the Arctic Silver 5. That's why I see Diamond 7 doesn't have any cure time. Because the density of this thermal compound is like a chewing gum. If you will compare IC Diamond Karat 7 to the Arctic Silver 5 density, Arctic Silver 5 most likely like a soup. That's why during the cure time, Arctic Silver 5 melts from the center to the ends. And that's why in some places you lose an Arctic Silver 5 completely. I applied AC Diamond 7. Density is very high. It's like a chewing gum. It's not gonna escape and it doesn't have any cure time. I was using the tip of my finger. And at the beginning, the amount that I applied, I doubled the amount. Remember the amount that I applied at the beginning. I put twice more. Both for CPU, CPU and GPU. And then with the tip of my finger, I stretched it. It's like a chewing gum, very, very high density compound. The rest of the compound that's still left on my tip of the finger, I will apply to the heat sink from the other side to the middle. But as I mentioned before, because of high density, it doesn't even want to stick that much. You see, it's staying. It, I cannot remove it from my from the tip, like a chewing gum. You see, it doesn't stick. Arctic Silver 5 by now will be there, but this one no, it stick pretty firmly to the tip of the glove, so it's impossible to do this. I made sure that it's enough everywhere on CPU and GPU, so this basically I will throw away, and I will start installing the heat sinks on places. The first one on my way will be the GPU heatsink. You have all four bolts already attached, not like CPU that you have to remove them. Those are holded on springs. So allocate. This is very important step when you locating because if you will move too much, all compound will be gone. So you have to put it only once for the better sealant. At the beginning you do like this. Then when you in, you locating that all the screws are on places and you positioning the heatsink and you don't move it. Then you trying to catch only one bolt just to catch him. And as soon as the bolt catched, you don't do nothing else. Then you catching this bolt. As soon as the bolt catched, you don't do nothing else. Because if you are over tight, the compound will run. Still, even if it's a chewing gum. Only to catch. You catched, you catched, and you don't twist anymore. Then you catch in here. And then you stop. And then catch in here. So it means that it's caged everywhere and it's not moving anymore. The same as thermal compound and staying on place. Then when you catch all four of them, you have to be tightening them. Little by little. One, two. One, two, one, two, so it will be the same everywhere. And then here, one, two, one, two, so it's tight. And I, as you can see, it was the same always everywhere. So it was no chance for thermal compound to escape aside. The next one will be the CPU heatsink. Ah no, hold on. The next one that you have to install is the fan. 